Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 4560 in Candy Crush Saga, and if you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. So here we've got 25 moves to clear out, 60 jelly, and collect 6 Gumi Dragons. They're all on the board. We just have to get through all of this uh, toffee in order for these to drop down. I'm going to ignore these. I, and there are going to be some things that I do. I need to collect the keys, but mostly I'm going to be focusing on this toffee because the toffee is obstructing both their path and my ability to collect the jelly. So I just need to eradicate as much of that as possible. I only have four colors on the board. So as I open this up, it's going to get easier and easier to make specials. I could do this and that would hit across or this not as good. I'm going to work directly here. I'm going to assume that if I do this, I'll still have the opportunity to make some specials. That may or may not help. That's not so great yet, unless I can, oh, combine it. I do love a stripe draft, and it's going to collect that key. So we're starting to open this up. But if I open these up too early, what happens is these guys get in the way. Because I, I'm dealing already with the toffee. I like a wrapped candy. I wish it had come closer, but I can do this or this to try to set it up with another special. Let's do this and hope it holds. It could be explosive. Yeah, thought that might happen. But look at that. We got something anyway, because again, we have four colors. And when we only have four colors, it's easier to get these combos. This could be really significant, especially if I can pair it with a wrapped down here. Can't quite, but I will take that stripe. I'm collecting another key. Again, good and bad things happen with that. Now I've got another color bomb. It just takes out a color, but that's okay. It concentrates things down and color bombs beget color bombs and other specials. So when I put this together, the stripe is going to hit the color bomb and it's going to take out the most prevalent color on the board. I'm guessing after I combine these, it's going to be purple, which will help over here, but I could be wrong. Yeah, it was purple. All right, and see how that gives me other specials. So I'm going to do this. I've got some of these guys showing up now. So far, they haven't been too much in the way. I've got this, and it's beautiful. I could do this first. But what happens when I do that is I run the risk of losing this. So I have to evaluate my risk versus reward. This is pretty good. It's going to clear out a lot. And it collects a key, so it brings more of these down. And it collects one of these guys, so he's off the board. This is a stripe, which is valuable, and it hits over here where we've got some thick stuff. However, it is just a stripe. The reward isn't great. I think I'd better take this, because I'll probably get some stripes and things like that just by allowing things to happen. And there we go. I've got a stripe here I can use, or I can make a stripe. Now here, oh, or I can make a color bomb. Here, if I set this off and, or like if I make this and it sets this off, the risk isn't great because if this gets set off, it still does what it's supposed to do. Or I could even make a move here or over here. I'm going to go for the color bomb. We've seen how valuable a color bomb can be. Now I'm going to create this. We're going to see if this lines up with anything as I'm going through. If not, I'm going to keep doing this. Now I brought this all the way down to the base because these toffee flow downward and so it's helpful to uh, keep hitting the base because I'll always have more material until we get these cleared out and then I'm just going for these but look at this I can do orange I can do green I like orange on this I've got a lot of orange over here so let's set that up and that's taking out some of that jelly nice now everything's getting a little bit crowded here. So what I'm going to do is uncrowd it. Uh, I wish I could hit purple. If I could hit purple, I would take that out immediately. I can't. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. And now I have access to purple and maybe, ooh, oh, <laughs> okay. So talking about risk and reward, I can't take out purple now, but I can try to set this up. What happens if things explode? 
Well, I still take out the most prevalent color and that would help. But the reward is great. If I can set this up or this up, you know, combine these, then the reward is amazing here. So it's worth the risk to do this. And I'm going to do this. I could make another color bomb. I only have two moves. I need to, I need to pull the trigger on this at some point or another. And look at all of these wrapped that are helping everything here. So, yep, it's all about risk and reward. Weigh what you have versus what you might be able to obtain and see if the risk is worth it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.